Hi, welcome to The Painted Lady. I wanted to do some more true crime. I'm especially hooked on the Long Island serial killer. Rex Sherman is the suspect who is in jail right now. And I was watching the interview room on YouTube. Chris McDonough is, it's his channel. And he's a retired homicide detective. So he has a very interesting show. You should subscribe, watch it if you're interested in true crime. Um, but I was watching last night and he has two psychologists on and he had the um, attorney for Shannon Gilbert on there. If you're a true crime fan, you probably already know about um, Chris McDonough. But some things have come up um, lately regarding um, uh, some witnesses that John Ray, the attorney, got in touch. He has all these people calling him now that Rex Heuerman has is in jail, people that recognize him and have had incidences in the past. So there was um, one woman who actually says she was shot by Rex Sierman in, I believe in 1997, something like that in Manhattan. Um, he tried to solicit her um, and he, he pulled out a gun on her. So it's very interesting, but there's a lot of things going on regarding um, evidence found. Now, it came out that the daughter's hair was found on one of the bodies and his wife's. And I was asking in one of my videos if the wife had anything to do with it. You know, it could just be hair transfer, but it's a little bizarre that there would be, you know, bodies found on different different time frames and only the wife and the daughter's hair is found. Not that they had anything to do with killing them, but possibly they could have um, helped him transfer the bodies. It's, it's a crazy case. And I've been wondering about this case since it came out um, 2010, 2011, because I live and go to Gilgo Beach. I live right near Gilgo Beach and I go to that beach. And so it was always disturbing to me that it just, the case sort of disappeared um, because the police were covering it up because, you know, there were some shady characters in the police force at that time. I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses. If you see me like moving my head around, it's because I'm trying not to get that glare. Um, so you don't have a shining glare in your face. So anyway, I was going to pull out some cards, um, because what came up in the, at the interview room last night was they were talking about someone in Virginia had, um, a, a jogger in Virginia says Rex Ewerman like tried uh, to attack her in the park when she was jogging. She got away because she's a runner <laughs> and she probably could run pretty fast compared to him lumbering around. Um, so I wanted to ask about that and I wanted to ask about um, if he did, you know, I believe he's the killer, but everyone's innocent until proven guilty. This is for entertainment purposes only. These are just my opinions and my cards my impressions, but I would like to ask if the Long Island serial killer, if it is Rex Herman, let's just ask first, ask the cards, is it Rex Herman that killed these people? Um, these young women, and there's a young male um, and a baby. Was he the killer of all these people? And I'm gonna have to pull some cards because I have candles lit here and it's a little tight, so I'm just gonna pull them instead of letting them pop. <laughs> the Magician, I got this this morning. <laughs> the Magician's first card. So Master Manipulator. 
master manipulator, this guy. Um, doesn't mean he's a genius. Everybody thinks serial killers are geniuses. Um, they might be clever, but they're more genius at being con men. So did he, is he the killer? Um, this is the ace of um, wands. Ace of wands, crossing. He certainly had the ideas to do it. Um, then we have the moon card. I, if you haven't watched my video for the week, uh, a weekly reading, go look at my last video. I have um, similar cards came out and I've been shuffling these as I'm sitting here. I shuffled them after, um, I always reshuffle before I start again. So is Rex Huron responsible for these deaths on Long Island? The same cards are coming out. The Four of Pentacles. He's, I'm shuffling. Hmm. Very bizarre. The Tower. If you hear laughing in the background, that's my son in the other room. He has a very funny laugh. Okay. One more card. And this is the ace. No, this is not the ace. This is the knight of swords. He's, Rex Hurman's a killer. Definitely. This is the running with scissors card. This card means Someone very aggressive goes after what they want in a very ruthless way. Moon card, lunacy, lunatic behavior. Um, this is where, like, this um, Ace of Wands is about ideas. Very disturbed ideas, very disturbing person, disturbed thinking, um, lunatic thinking, the tower. He made things come crum crumbling down for those women and that the man and the baby. He did this. He was the tower moment for these people, the destruction. He's a very um, rigid person. The Four of Pentacles is about very wound up tightly wound person, very controlling person, master manipulator with the magician, controlling manipulator. Um, also in the way he kills, he likes to torture. I believe he kept them and tortured them. Let me just ask my pendulum. Let's see, show you that. I just want to ask spirit, now it goes to the right, my right. I want to ask about Rex Hureman. Did he torture these women before killing them? Did he keep, I want to know, did he keep them maybe perhaps for a few days? Did he keep them for a few days torturing them before he killed them? I just want a yes or no answer. So when it goes up and down, all right, that's a maybe, it's not spinning. Okay, maybe. So I have to re-ask the question because he might have done that with some of the people. So let me ask that. Did, did he torture um, his victims? Did he hold some of his victims for a few days? Oh, yes. It's, Look at it's swinging right already. This is going to my right. Yes, it's a definite yes. He did torture the victims beforehand. 
Okay, my next question is, I'm just gonna put these back separately in separate places in the deck. Um, my next question will be, um, I wanna know, did, did his wife help him move the bodies? I'd like to know that. Rick Seerman, did he, did his wife Asa help him move the bodies anywhere? It doesn't have to be to the, the grave site or where he dumped them. It's not the grave site. Did his wife help him move bodies? Magician card again. You saw me shuffle. I put it in the middle of the deck, magician. Another trickster. Did Asa Elra, Rick Sherman's wife, help move the bodies somehow? This is the Seven of Swords. Oh, terrible cards. Helping him escape. Look, the, the crow has a rat. And this crow is moving a body. She helped him. I'll pull out one more card just to get any more information we can have about Asa. This one to jump. Um... This is the five, five of wands. This is a lot of commotion going on about moving those bodies. He perhaps had more than one person help him, but she was, she was involved. Let me just check with my pendulum, see what we get with the pendulum. Did Asa Ellerup, Rex Human's wife, did she help him move the bodies, move the victims' bodies with Rex Uriman, the Long Island serial killer? Did she help him move any bodies? It's starting to swing right. That's that's a right, right circle. So that's a yes. Okay, I have my answer on that one. It's turning out to be very interesting. I'm putting the cards back in separate locations. I might use another deck now, change decks. Well, I'll stick with this one because I'm asking about him. Um, did Rex Hureman, the Long Island serial killer, was he the one in the park in Virginia trying to attack a woman? He had this guy had camouflage on. Was this person who attacked the woman in Virginia tried to attack her? Was it Rex Herman? This one wanted to jump. This is um, the Ace of Cups. Pull out this card. This is the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Slow moving. <laughs> Slow moving knight. That's why she got away. He was too slow. <laughs> this guy is unbelievable. He's also a Virgo. Pentacles. The Ace of Cup, I don't understand. So let's see. The Nine of Swords. Look at this card. He wanted to attack her. He wanted to scare her. He wanted to attack her. One more card. Oh, here we go again. Very aggressive. This is the Knight of Swords. Did I say swords last time? Knight of Swords, aggressively going after that woman in Virginia. He's the one. 
Let me just pull out the pendulum. It was Rex Herman, the person who went after the victim in Virginia, the girl in Virginia in the park, the jogger. Did Rex Herman try to attack a woman in a park in Virginia? I don't remember her name. It might have been Taylor. Was it Taylor that he attacked? A woman jogger in a park in Virginia did Rex Hewerman try to attack her in camouflage clothing. Yeah, it's starting to circle. Yeah. Well, I also want to know if he left people dead in Las Vegas. And then we'll stop. And if any of you have any questions about this case that you'd like me to ask, please let me know in the comments. And I'll do more readings because I'm going to be reading about this guy because this is in my backyard and I really want to know what happened. This case has, you know, haunted me for years because I have children and, you know, finding out something like that's happening, that there's a serial killer and, you know, the, where he lives in Massapequa Park is about 20 minutes away from me. Um, the beach about 15 minutes away and it is a beach that I used to go to so did Rex Herman kill in Las Vegas I'm not going to take that card did Rex Herman kill in Las Vegas because I wasn't concentrating did Rex Herman kill people in Las Vegas Hierophant. Hierophant. That's like, I don't really, that's like higher power. I'm getting energy like, hmm. What about this higher power? I don't, I'll, I'll clarify what the Hierophant means. I'm really not sure what it means to this. Did he kill people in Las Vegas? This is uh, the king of, is that wands? Oh, pentacles, right there is a pentacle. He'd be the king of pentacles. I'm thinking this is someone who enjoys asserting power over another. He likes to think he knows it all. He likes to think that he's thought this through. He likes to feel powerful. That's the feeling I'm getting from these cards. Feeling in control, feeling power. I'm on top of the world when he does this. People, are there more bodies in Las Vegas? Strength. That's a yes card. I'll check with the pendulum. Did Rex Hearman kill people in Las Vegas? It's going to yes. Okay. I just thought of another. There is also New Jersey. So these locations, he has a location, um, He's familiar with New Jersey. I know there were bodies found that they were suspecting could have had done something, but I'm, I don't think that Kate, those cases fit with him. But let's just see, did he kill anybody in New Jersey? And I'm gonna just choose again. we have the seven of swords again perhaps he buried bodies there um this is a six 
of Wands victory. And this is the Eight of Swords. I mean, they, these cards are very ominous. I feel like there are bodies. There's bodies there. There's moving of bodies. There's a victory over a woman. Let me just see. Was it was it two people or more? Just pulling one card. And this is the ten. This is uh is this um ten of yeah ten of wands I'd say it's more than two could be ten more this guy from what they said on the interview room he was very very prolific I mean he really I think he did a lot of killing all over the US um, I, I really believe he his wife knew about it. She perhaps helped him move bodies. He was, I believe, that's another question I want to ask, but for another time, I'll come back again and ask about the party with that, um, you know, the, the guy's last name is Brewer, who lived in um, Oak Beach. So there's a guy in Oak Beach brewer that had this you know sex parties that had sex workers come to their parties and i'll ask the next time if rex was there so stay tuned i'm gonna have more for mr Hewerman, more about him subscribe to my channel if you want to um, get notifications on that thanks for watching everyone take care bye bye